and God is, is releasing something in the atmosphere, not just in Nashville, but there is something being released uh, in, uh, across the earth as God's beginning to bring things uh, to a head. And uh, I actually have my Bible here with a message in it. I don't know if we'll get to it because I'm just feeling the story in the Spirit of the Lord. But um, there is, is such an army. I was thinking today, I was just watching just different ones go about their tasks, and I was, I was telling the Lord, thank you for the team. And the Lord said, it's not a team. He said, I've raised up an army in this house that we are literally going to do some amazing things by the Spirit of the Lord. And uh, I was thinking that there are so many people who don't want to do what God's doing right now. And so they're doing their own thing because they want to be in control. And God dropped this in my spirit driving over here. He said, they're not in control. He said, they're in rebellion. And he said, there's a big difference between being in rebellion and being in control. Because when you're in control, you're in the will of God because God is taking over. And there has been such a spirit of rebellion in, in the nation and in the church. And I see the hand of the Lord getting a hold of a blanket. And he's beginning to lift it up. And everything that's been in secret is getting ready to be shouted on the house tops. And everything that has been hidden is getting ready to be revealed. And God is, is done with a whole bunch of stuff in the atmosphere and in the house of the Lord. And, uh, and I, this morning, of the oddest places, I was in the shower and I was just thinking on some things of the Lord. I'd come back from prayer and I was reflecting on the message that I felt like that I wanted to preach. And God began to drop this in my spirit. <clears throat> and in the story of Gideon, God is going to institute deliverance for the Israelites. And so the Lord gets the gentleman who would be least likely to lead his people named Gideon. And Gideon is literally threshing wheat in the wine press. He's doing the right thing in the wrong place because he is tired of the enemy taking his harvest. There are so many of us that feel like the enemy has came in and just when we get ready to walk into what God wants us to do, the enemy swoops in and begins to steal the harvest. So the Lord raises up Gideon. Gideon sounds a trumpet and the Bible says 32,000 men gather to him to go to war. The Lord looked at that and he said this, there are too many to go to battle because if you win, they will say it is because of our number and they will not give me the glory. So the Lord said this, and this is what I believe has already happened in the church. The Lord said, tell everybody that's afraid to go home. Send everybody that was afraid from the presence of the Lord and they went home. Boy, I feel a boldness today. I have no sympathy for you that have caved in to a spirit of fear. And that when God said in Psalms 91, No plague shall come nigh unto thy dwelling, and by my stripes ye are healed. How dare men and women who call themselves apostolic and blood bought to bow down to a spirit of Baal and discount the word of the Lord and say, We will not trust in the name of the Lord. And so God for a long time now has been sending people home in this nation that call themselves Christians, but they were Christians in name only, but they were not Christians in their faith. I read the verse this week. It says, everything that is not a faith is sin. We want to come up with some kind of new Christianity in this hour doesn't require sacrifice it doesn't require prayer it doesn't require holiness it doesn't require commitment all we want from God is to give us money our dream home and make us happy God is not our sugar daddy hallelujah he is our creator
And there's a whole lot of churches right now that are not having church today. And can I tell you that if you're only having church online, shame on you because that is not the will of God. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Forsake not the assembling of thyselves together. Even more, oh, I forgot God said there's a... No, in the midst, hallelujah, God said there is safety in the sanctuary. If there ever was a place that demons ought to be terrified to enter into, it ought to be the house of God. There is blood running up and down the aisles of this house. There are warriors in this sanctuary who are not going to bow down to the spirits of hell. We are not intimidated by the power of the enemy. You mark it down when we have 4,000 people in this building. And everybody's going to say, how did you do that? Except the Lord build the house. They that build the house labor in vain. And so God really spoke my spirit. He said, I have already sent the fearful home. Because they can't fight. Got too many believers that can only walk with God when everything is great. Thank God for Paul and Joseph. Hallelujah. And Hezekiah and King David and the 11 of the 12 disciples that were put to a martyr's death. That John that could come out of a pot of boiling oil and said, I see the Lord, for I have been caught up into heaven. Hallelujah. So God began to drop my spirit. He said, there's another purging getting ready to hit the house of the Lord. And the Lord takes me back to that story. And he said, when I sent 22,000 home, he said, there was still 10,000. God said, I'm not going to do it with 10,000 either. So he looked at Gideon, he said, take him to the water. And he said, tell him to drink. And he said, everyone that just puts their head down in the water and starts drinking, set them aside. And he said, those that keep their head up and drink this way, he said, set them to the side. About 9,700 just without any alertness just put their head down and begin to drink. But there were 300 that when they got down to drink, they did this. What were they doing? They were watching. Even though they were satisfying a need, they were watching. There was a discernment in them. There was an alertness. And God said, I'm getting ready to send another group of people home from the church. And he said, every individual that does not have a prayer life, that just haphazardly walks with me, he said, because they're not alert and they're not discerning in the spirit what I'm doing, God said, I'm sending them home whether they have gifts or not. Because what I'm getting ready to do, I don't need gifts. I need men and women that are tuned in to the spirit of the Lord. And the Bible bears this out. God said this. He said, in the last days, at the beginning of the final harvest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel a bonus. I lose a spirit of death on the wicked in this nation. You can email me all you want. I'm not going to back up on this. And if you don't like it, this might not be the church for you. But I've had it with wicked men and women in this nation that the Department of Justice won't do anything about. 
I was talking with Robert Bullock yesterday, and he said, Brother Ken, he said, I, it's like I've seen God take his hand and turn a page. I said, well, it goes along with what I'm feeling because the other day I heard the Lord say, I have already dropped the gavel and passed the sentence in this nation. And the Lord says, I'm getting ready to carry out the sentence. And the Lord is going to release a spirit of death on the wicked in this nation. Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to battle. We are going to war. We will not back up on this. Hallelujah. If you're looking for nine points on how to good, have a good marriage and how to prosper, this is the wrong house. This is an army that God is raising up full of the power of the Holy Ghost. I need some men and women in Regeneration Nashville that aren't interested in just showing up when it's convenient but they are there by the spirit of the Holy Ghost and there's something in them that said as for me and my house we will serve the Lord the Lord said I am sending home now for the rest of this year I am sending men and women home in fact I hear it in the spirit God says by the fall I'm sending a group home who do not desire to be intimate with me. Everything that God has always done in the earth has been birthed by prayer. It always starts by prayer, whether it's Jonathan Edwards in Wales or it's William Seymour in Azusa Street, or it's Ian Bounds in Nashville, Tennessee. Hallelujah. Men and women that shake the kingdom of darkness are men and women that know how to pray. And I'm not rebuking you, Dad. I'm just telling you the shift in the spirit. And the Lord said, right at the beginning of harvest, I'm going to send angels into the earth. And they're going to remove all those who offend me and practice iniquity in the body of Christ. And if judgment begins at the house of the Lord, where is the sinner going to stand in the day of judgment? And part of the issue that God has with the church is we want God to go after the wicked, but we don't want God to deal with the lukewarm. And there is a shifting, hallelujah, by the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And as God begins to do this shifting, hear me, says the Lord, I'm getting ready not to just meet you on Sundays, but there's going to be an ingathering of men and women that are going to begin to come together. And before it's over, every day of the week, my children will find themselves in the presence of God. For the house of the Lord has been built on gifts and and talents too long says God but this last move of the Lord if I can take a donkey and make him talk I can take somebody that can't carry a tune and give them the voice of an angel I am looking for men and women saith God who are in love with me and not in love with what I can give them and in this hour saith God I am now purging the body of Christ again for it is no longer a time to say I change God said I've already dropped the gavel on this nation I've already dropped the gavel on Washington DC I've already dropped the gavel on the Supreme Court and I've already dropped the gavel on regeneration Nashville and as I begin to sort out saith the Lord there is another harvest that's getting ready to come into this building and as it comes into this building I am then going to look at the angels who have raised the windows of heaven now and I'm gonna tell them pour out the glory pour out the glory and before this year's out saith God there is a release of the Shekinah glory of God that has not been seen for a century it's going to hit your house and you will see it with your eyes demons will bow down and declare that God is in control We are at war. We are at war. 
And God says there's too, been too much of a nonchalant attitude. It's been in the house of God. I thank the Lord for our last prayer meeting that we had at the old site. It was packed. But pretty soon we're going to have to have it somewhere else. Because prayer, hallelujah, is contagious. And the Lord says for all of us that are in this building, you would not be here and I would not be here if it was not for the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. God said, I have covered your sins and I have covered your weaknesses when you have fallen and I did not let a man see while you repented to me, saith the Lord. I have healed your bodies when hell came after your children says the Lord I stepped in and stopped the gap and told hell they would not touch them by the powers of the enemy can I tell you that many of you would have had cancer says the Lord but when cancer came to your abode I had an angel standing on the outside of your house that said you will not transgress into this sanctuary and the Lord says I have protected you and I have saved you for such a time as this for even as you see many states gathering together into this building the Lord says that's just the beginning as they came from around the world to Azusa Street so will they come from around the world to be in this place for this will never be a normal church saith the Lord it will not be that which men would expect but it is a God portal saith God that I have already anointed by the Spirit of the Lord now from one side to the other saith the Lord I begin to release a holy conviction upon this congregation by the power of my spirit today saith God I open up a gate of mercy but I am telling you saith the Lord get your house clean and get your house in order for there is not much time left before I walk away from you if I shut the door on the five foolish virgins who were virgins how much more will I not shut the door on you saith God who have been given much more than any generation I am saying this to you God says because there is another release of the great outpouring of the power of God getting ready to hit this city and I will not have men and women that are not sold out and committed unto me I am done saith the Lord I am spewing the lukewarm out of my mouth and I am turning to those that are apostolic Holy Ghost blood bought that are committed unto me saith the Lord I have blessed you and I have blessed you now I'm asking you saith God bless me bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me saith God Hear me, saith the Lord. The greatest responsibility. I am not laying at the feet of the laity today, but I am holding the leadership that has been in this nation that has called themselves preachers that have stood in my pulpits, but they would not declare my work. So I'm going to begin to deal with ministry in the United States of America. And I'm going to remove men that people trusted in but had no faith in me themselves. And God said, I'm now raising up men and women in this hour that cannot be bought. They have an Elijah anointing. Shaya Bobo Shandai. Hallelujah. 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 Yara Baba Shandai. God says that I'm, I've loosed a river in this building right now. The Lord says it is a cleansing river. Hallelujah. 
And God said today, I will wash you and I will make you clean. But this is the last time that I'm going to come to you, saith the Lord, and ask you to stand in righteousness and holiness. For today is a cleansing in the body of Christ across the United States of America. And even in the next seven days, saith the Lord, on a national schedule, I will begin to perform my word, saith God. For I do not bow down to men and there are many houses that are beautiful to look at and they are called churches but I did not build them saith the Lord and I am not in them you've been moved by names and numbers and the beautiful buildings that cost millions of dollars but I walking away from them saith the Lord and I will turn if I have to back unto a tent but where the glory of God is there hallelujah will my people be Begin to congregate by the Spirit of the Lord. I curse every demon of sickness and every incurable disease that's under the sound of my voice. I'm coming into your living room, saith God. I'm coming into other nations that are watching right now, and we lose the power and the glory and the majesty of the Lord. For you have not yet seen me in my fullness. I've let you see a bit of me and a hinder part of me but you have not yet seen me face to face but the king of glory saith God is beginning to be released out of heaven I am walking down out of my throne room and I'm coming to stand again in the midst of the people that I die for this is the army saith the Lord that I am raising up in this hour this army will not be moved by demons but as she marches through the nations this army saith God uh, will turn hell uh, upside down. Uh, Stanch and strongholds uh, that a bit of the atmosphere uh, are going to be broken uh, by the power of the Spirit of God. <laughs> Starting in 2022, hear the Lord say that the army of God will now be watch marching in fullness and they will not break rank. Yes. For the next three years after that, there's going to be such an outpouring of the majesty and of the glory of the Lord. I am now going to begin to take from the lukewarm even natural things and material things. I am also going to invade mega churches that said I could not come into their buildings and I'm going to give their buildings to another congregation and then I'm going to fill them up. But they will not be called mega churches, saith the Lord, but they will will be known as God portals uh, for you thought you were building it for a man uh, and his legacy uh, but what you were doing you were building uh, to house the final outpouring uh, of the glory and of the majesty of God uh, this move saith the Lord uh, will be a move of holiness and righteousness uh, I will not allow myself to be tainted uh, and confined uh, in a world that's unclean uh, but this time saith God uh, the spirit of holiness as the bells rung on the very bottom of the priest's robe there is another sound coming saith God of holiness for my people are now coming into the holiest of holies yeah. what I'm going to do says the Lord will not just be spiritual but it will also be manifested in the natural. And just as I killed Ananias and Sapphira, not for holding back just part, but for wanting to be perceived as righteous without paying the full price. God said, don't worry about the wicked. I've already passed judgment on them. God said, take heed unto thyself, because this is an hour that I am passing over you, saith the Lord. Even as there was a death angel that was loose from heaven in Egypt, and the only thing that kept my people alive was the blood that was a type of me on their doorposts. Know this, saith the Lord. There is another plague and another coming to the earth. 
And those that have caved into fear will be some of the first that will begin to. But I will tell you this, saith God, if you chose to trust me and you chose to walk with me, this thing will not touch my people. And as this saying begins to touch the unsaved, the Lord says there's going to be a great healing take place in the body of Christ. And there will be many begin to come in to have this. And God said they will begin to be healed by the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ as we release it in this, in this hour. And God says, hallelujah, that I have no more time to deal with those who have not. I have called and called, says the Lord. My God, this is a strong word. I have called and called, says the Lord. I've asked you. I've convicted you. I've challenged you. I have begged you to come into my presence. But you would always say, God, I do not have time. I'm too busy pursuing something else. No more, says the Lord. This is a final call. Even as I'm watching those that are bowing down and lapping up, saith God, that are alert and discerning, I am pulling them in unto myself. But for those that have not really realized and never could feel, never have discerned what I'm doing in this hour. God said, I'm sending you away because the demons of hell, the hordes of hell that have been loosed on this earth are getting ready to be beaten down by the Spirit of the Lord. And the Lord said, the only thing that's going to cause that to happen is men and women that have authority by the Spirit of God inside of them. There will be many as the sons of Sceva who will try to walk in this final move and say we command you in the name of Jesus to come out and they're going to come on you saith the Lord and they will be destroyed but to those of you hallelujah that hell knows your name the authority today today saith God I release authority in the spirit upon you and in you by the spirit of God there have been strongholds some of you have been bound by demons some of you are bound by sexual sin some of you are bound by depression but know this I died for you and today saith the Lord I begin to loose a healing in this building there is a wave I blow on you saith God I blow the spirit now as I'm moving on you saith the Lord if you need to come to me and make it right run saith God run to the altar for I will not continue to convict I will not come to you in your house in the evening time but I'm saying run 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 saith the Lord for I need men and women that will enlist in the kingdom of God and will say Lord not my will but thy will be done hallelujah hallelujah If you're not coming, not everybody has to come. I know that. If you're not coming, you can stand, you can kneel, you can intercede. But there's something being released in the Spirit of the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, if you need God to set you free. You tell the Lord right now. You don't have to shout it out. You don't have to tell your neighbor. But you tell God, Lord, I'm ready to be set free from this. And God said, whatever you bind, I'll bind. Whatever you loose, I'll loose, says the Lord. I am on thy side. I love you, saith God. But I need you holy. I need you sold out. I need you to love me more than the stuff of the world, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God says, I'm preparing for the great harvest. They're coming, says the Lord. They're coming. They're coming, says God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And as I orchestrate this nation, as I deal with the wicked in politics and in media and entertainment, the Lord says, I am setting the table in this nation for the last great in gathering of the glory of God for souls, souls, souls. Hallelujah. Give me intercessors, saith the Lord. Give me men and women that know how to weep between the porch and the 
the altar. Give me men and women that don't come for prophecy, don't come for name, don't come for prophets, but they come simply to be in the very divine presence of the Almighty. Love me, saith God, for I made you for this hour to adore your Creator, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Shara Momondoria Sitala Basandai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something being released right now in the atmosphere. Some of you have never been in a service like this in your life. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Awesome God. Oh, ancient of days. Oh, ancient of days, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. The ancient of days, hallelujah, will receive the creation to him. Thank you, Jesus. Just what I hear the Lord saying. The battle hasn't started yet between the wicked and the righteous the Lord said I have been preparing the army and the Lord says when I remove this final group that just were not alert the lukewarm God said I will destroy the Midianites without my people ever happen to draw their swords. We're not having to do this on our own. The battle that God needs you to fight right now is the battle that says, I don't want to get on the cross. I think the old song that says, at the cross, at the cross. <laughs> Where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. Amen. It was there by faith. I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. <clears throat> the Lord says, in the fall, there's going to be a trumpet sounded out of heaven that declares war and God says it will be a very short war in this nation and the church will stand and behold it but it shall not come nigh unto thy dwelling hallelujah sarabobo shande hallelujah 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 <clears throat> God said, I'm making everybody in this nation choose a side. Choose a side. God said, I'm not choosing Pentecostals, and I'm not choosing Methodists, and I'm not choosing Catholics. I'm choosing men and women whose heart seeks after me. Hallelujah. As David's heart panted after oh God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Go ahead and sleep that, Jasper.
want to impress on you that you are in the midst of a sovereign time. I also want to impress on you this. You got sin in your life, get it out. Get it out. I remember <clears throat> there was a very well-known minister who had great sin in his life, known around the world. And a prophet went to him, and God spoke to him and said, make it right, deal with it. And he became very angry and told the prophet to leave. God, in a very public way, really unveiled it. <clears throat> Years later, this man came to the prophet broken. Not very much left from what he'd had. He said this. He said, my sin was in secret, but God made my death public. You choose. <clears throat> Do you deal with it in private? Or does God deal with it in public? And more so, if God uses you in a public setting. God holds me very, very accountable in my life. I know God's elevated me and given me a voice. But God holds me accountable. He's going to hold you accountable. Because when it all comes down to when God's done, there are millions of people that are going to go to hell if we don't come to another level in this church where there's such an authority of God that people can get set free and they're brought into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Oh, God, put a burden on this house. That God, we will weep for souls again. That God, that we are moved not just by our own needs, but we're moved by those that hurt around us. God, that I will not just intercede for my own child, but I will intercede for my brother's child as if it was my own. baptize this church with love baptize us with mercy God says you have no idea of what I'm getting ready to release to you we thought we just found each other what we don't know is that God brought us together sovereignly I know there's several hundred of us in here, but we're family. Each of us have prayed for so long for this kind of presence. We are getting ready. We are already in beginning. We're in the beginning stages right now of seeing the greatest outpouring of God that we've ever seen. What we're seeing even right now is amazing. It's only been done in the last seven seven months if God can do this in seven months Lord knows what he can do in the next couple of years <clears throat> I don't <clears throat> now this is the pastor part of me I don't want you leaving here with a heaviness on you when God wounds he also pours in the oil binds you up you are very important to the Lord the old song was when he was on the cross I was on his mind Jesus wants you to succeed he wants you 
to prosper. He's on your side. He's not standing wanting to kill you. He's wanting to love you. To love you into the kingdom. To love you into victory. Hallelujah. <clears throat> At the cross. The cross. Where I first saw the light. And the of my 